I decided to go ahead and get out into nature for a little walk just around my property. And it is really just sprinkly, rainy out today here in Oregon. But I decided to go take some footage of our oak trees and just look up at the sky. And it's kind of nice just to get out and just get some inspiration from nature before you start journaling or crafting or anything like that. Just, it's nice to get out and just take a quick walk, even if it's like a five, 10 minute walk or just get up and stretch or just move your body around and get the blood flowing and stuff. It's just really nice to get out and just, just to get out in nature. This is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts and today I want to make with you guys a fun collage in our, I forgot to grab our journal, hold on. Okay, I got it. So I just want to show you guys this is the spread that we are going to work on today. So I'm going to show you guys how I made this and it'll be super fun. So this is just a fun different ways to collage and it's in our Amazon mailer and magazine journal and I have a whole uh, series that we've been working on so I'll put that on the end screen and you guys can come check it out it's super fun okay so let's get to our inspirational just thoughts just some of my some of Tammy thoughts you know and a little quote of the day so let's see here so what I was working on at the beginning um, that I did in a time lapse was my, this is my quilted journal cover that I did. And I was adding in here, I just have a composition notebook that goes inside of it. And I was adding a fun, um, just elastic right here. Just a fun, just elastic. So I can add other papers in here, you know, that's not part of the composition book. So it's kind of fun. So I was just doing that real quick. So it was just something I was trying to get done this morning. Okay, so let's see. We're going to go with Tammy's thoughts. Sometimes we we all lose our motivation. We get too wrapped up into in our thoughts, you know, like my art isn't good enough. Will people like it, etc. Uh, that is when you need to stop and step back, clear your mind, go out in nature, take a walk, eat a snack, watch TV, talk to friends, think happy thoughts. I mean, that's just what it's about. Like, if you feel like you're overwhelmed and it's just too much, just step back. I mean, it's not going nowhere. Your art's gonna just be there until you're ready for it or until it's ready for you or however, you know? So just don't put so much pressure on yourself. Uh, just take, take time for yourself and do nothing. Just do nothing. The art of doing nothing. Then before you know it, you will stumble into, into something that motivates you. Just remember to never stop dreaming and believe in yourself. My heater just came on. That's what you're hearing. I have a little space heater in here because it gets pretty cold in this room. And uh, so anyway, that's what that is. So believe in yourself. <laughs> uh, believing in yourself can help you overcome obstacles and achieve your goals. So that's my thoughts on that subject. But the quote of the day I have written down here is, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill, 
that's whose quote that was. All right, so that's that, and let's get to collagen. I'll meet you guys at the table. All right, so we're at the table here, and it is a mess, but I love that the fact that I have a lot of stuff out when I'm about to collage. It just makes it a lot easier. You can just kind of grab and just kind of throw it all down into your journal and see what comes of it, what comes of it, you know? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I want to do a whole spread here. And uh, this is just painted with acrylic paint, black. And I have regular, regular gel matte medium. And I'll put that down, and it's golden. I'll put it in my links down below, my Amazon links. And let me know if I forget to do that. But it might already be down there. I'll have to check. An old paintbrush. And what I want to work with today is book pages. Just to get the layout of it all is just whatever book pages you have will work great and I'm sure we have a lot of book pages um, so let's see this is the book that I have and it's from Goodwill I just grabbed it from Goodwill because I love the illustrations in it I mean the pictures and stuff in it are just awesome and I'll show you and what I have here see I just love the illustrations we'll get to it too but uh, what I have here is words and numbers so I just went through the whole book and I made little envelopes and stuff out of the book pages and did some just sewing around it just for interest and you know, you don't have to sew. And I have in here is the tiny stuff, just the words, numbers, uh, you know. And this is a recipe book, so it's really fun. So I got blackberries, huckleberry, all the numbers. So these are fun to have, okay. And what I have here is just some of the recipe. And I, I kept all the ends of it here because I think it's just so cool. I mean, I love, you could do some stamping and you could do belly bands with it. You could do uh, all kinds of like a master board, you know, with it. And I got recipes, just some fun, you know, just recipes that can be, these can be made into stuff, little pockets and journal cards and, you know, different things like that. So that's what that pocket is. And then this one is my favorite. Look at this. These are all the images. So I went through and I just cut out all these fun images. So isn't that cool? And I think this would just be great to put onto like a journal cover or, you know, even a journal spread. But I have another idea today of what I want to do on top of this collage that we're doing but isn't this fun I mean this is definitely an option you know I mean it's just so much fun I love the colors in it they're kind of just like a really cool like pastel -y. I don't know I like them it's just a really neat feel to it you know and they're all like just framed and I know I could just look at these all day but aren't they beautiful all right uh, so if you guys are liking this video, hit the like button. That does help me out a lot, and it gets my video out there further for others to see. And I really appreciate you guys. Okay, so these are the pictures. The, you know, all the cool pitches. Okay, I'm just putting it all to the side. Let's see. And, oh, yeah, I made like, envelopes. And see, this should be over into that other one. So I did just a little pocket, and these are fun, just, you just cut, I just went through, found some fun images, and uh, this is a different cookbook. Hmm, I switched up on you guys. Yeah, this is a different one, but this is just another thing you could do, is, you know, make some journaling cards, sewing, uh, that's right, this is a totally different one, but it's kind of fun. So you just go through and find some images and just make some fun stuff. I mean, these are great too to throw down for collaging and uh, I mean, that's a little different, huh? I think it's like a 70s cookbook, this one. And I just thought it was kind of neat, the colors and stuff in it. So this is something fun you can definitely do. I just grabbed this one. There, a little bonus. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. Now, Let's get to work here. So 
So what I'm gonna do is just start taking some pages, ripping them, and just taking my regular gel matte medium and gluing everything down. So I'm liking the way that this turned out here. You can see. So I went ahead and just took my gel matte medium, glued down some book pages. Then I, after I did my book pages, I went ahead and just used some of my 3D paints here, just some of the 3D paints and did different colors throughout. Swished it around with my brush. Then I added some just pretty papers, just some little papers I have here some of these little papers and I rip them add some black soot oxide to the side with my dauber glued those down then um, the cool thing is, is as I was painting everything down with the gel matte medium the paint was coming up and getting all over and it looks really cool so I did that there's some spots I need to glue down but I'll get those later did all that um, then I placed my little, I went ahead and went with the book page images because I just love them. I think they're great. And I want to do something different over on this side, which will be really fun. So we'll do that in a minute. But um, so I just went ahead and glued the little pear down. Then I wanted to keep the word passion fruit. So I ripped these in half, did some inking with the black soot, glued those down. So I wanted to see the passion fruit right there. Okay. Um, and then I was like, you know what? I might as well do the same back down here. So I went through my little word envelope and found words and numbers. And I put that down there, glued it down, did some other little words all around. And there we go. So I think that turned out really fun. Yeah, I'm really liking that. So I want to come over here to this side. And... I want to use up just some of my scraps I have here too, like some of my cardstock, um, some more book pages, and then just add some just fun little, just some papers I have and stuff. Just whatever you got, just whatever you have, just collage it down. And um, yeah, so let's just do that first step. So I think this is turning out really fun. So what I did is glued down um, some, and I used my gel matte medium. So that's what I've been using the whole time. So I glued down my book pages, got those on there. Then I was like, you know, I want some lighter color paints on here on this side. So I used some of my 3D paints and went through and just did a, you know, different things, got some glitter in there and stuff. And I was like, nah, it's not light enough. So I went ahead and just used my acrylic white and just did a daub in the middle and then just went around. And I want to make sure some black is still showing. Did that. And then I took my pretty papers on top of all that and just uh, inked some of them with the black soot oxide. Put those right on top of the wet paint. 
and then just took my napkin and went like this and got them stuck on there so I didn't have to glue them again. So I just stuck them down before the paint dried. And um, that's a way to save glue too for that. So I did that, put a you know, book page on top here and there, did some scrap paper underneath before the paint. So I just kind of just collaged it up, okay? Now what I wanna do, I got it all dry. I did my heat gun and I wanna take my roller here so this is a cool little kit that you can get at Home Depot is where I got mine. And that's what it looks like. It's just a touch up kit. And it's just over with the paint brushes and stuff like that. And I got one for black and I got one for white. So these are great. So what I do is just keep them in these containers with the lid on them and then I put them in a Ziploc bag, like a big you know, gallon size Ziploc bag. And I put them both in there and zip it up and. I mean, it lasts forever. Like I had it for a couple months, I didn't touch them and there's still wet paint inside of it. So these are really fun. So I just roll it here and then you can even take it and you know, get some of it off of the excess, just like that. So what I wanna do is take some of my fun owl stencils I got. I just got these the other day from my friend April. Thank you, April, again. I showed you guys when I got them too on that video. <laughs> I was excited about it. So she sent the, these to me and it's a set of, I think six of them, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think eight of them actually. And uh, she said that she ordered two of them accidentally on Timu and was wondering, cause I, we have the love of owls. So I was like, yes, yes. So I'm super excited. I got these the other day. So this is some of them. I wanna show you real quick. I don't know if you can really see them, but they're really cool. And I have one in mind I wanna use because it'll fit the page nicely. Okay, so there's those. Okay, and this one is the one I want to do. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you'll be able to see it in a minute when I do black paint on it. So I'm gonna line this up so this is a fun thing to do is to do collage behind it on any you know, art journal page or anything you're working on and then um, just come through and stencil on top of it. So let me think here. I think I just want to, let's just do this. Let's just do it. We're just gonna do it. We'll get some of the part like that. So just hold one part of the stencil down Oh, let's see. This is gonna be cool. Okay. So there we go. And while we have it like this, you know what we could do? Is we could do some splatters. So this is what I like to use my fan brush. And here, I'll just do it on a scrap piece of paper. So just take your if you guys can see this, I'm just doing it on just a little book page here that I have sitting here. Take a little water, wet it down. Just get some water on it like that and just get it wet down, wet it down like that. And then just take it and do some splats. I know I'm going to make a mess everywhere, but that's the fun, right? That's the fun part of it. Oh yeah, is that cool, you guys? I mean, how fun is that? It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse this off real quick. Actually, you know what you can do with this is, let's see, oh my gosh, I have so much stuff on my desk, you guys. We could do a ghost print with it. So what I have here, I don't know if you guys remember my junk mail journal. And I did a whole journal out of just junk mail. Well, I have this sitting on my desk. And uh, we decorated and put some magazine stuff in here. Uh, I'll put it on the end screen so you guys come check it out. It's a whole playlist. But how fun, this is just a phone book. So how fun, and we did chalk paint and stuff in it. So it's a whole series, it's pretty fun. 
So what I'm going to do is just take it like this. And just, I don't like to waste paint, you know. I don't know if you guys are the same, but it's nice to... Seems like I'm making a bigger mess. So let's see. Oh yeah, see that's kind of cool. I mean it's a little unreadable, but it's still fun. So yeah, if you got anything that you rolled on, because there's a lot of paint when you roll it, you could just do a ghost print with it on something fun that you want to use later on. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so I got it all dry. I think it turned out really cool. So the paint kind of seeped under. See how there's, you can see through right here for the eye. So I'm just taking a paper clip that I opened up. And before it's all the way dry, it's still kind of tacky. So I'm trying to make sure to not to get it on me, but you can see here what I'm doing. I'm just kind of trying to move, remove some of the black paint. This is a little fun tip and trick you can do, but just get it before it gets too dry. But you also don't want it really super wet because then it'll just be a big mess, you know? So you can kind of just scrape it off here. It's just tacky. So there, see how I got the eye back? It was just, it just bled underneath because using that roller, it's not, you know, perfect because it's sometimes you get too much paint on the roller and stuff. Uh, it's convenient though, and it's, I, I like using them. Okay, so there you go. So yeah, so that's a fun little tip you can do. So this is two different ways, a couple of different ways here that I um, did some collaging. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.